Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're gonna be doing something different on the channel today. I'm going to react to the full 9 minutes of the new Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay from Tokyo Game Show. We actually do have a couple of scenes in this new gameplay, the first one being in All Foods Factory with the Maelstrom Gang where we go to actually get Flathead, the robot. Then the second one we do have actually the scene with Judy. And the third one we do have a scene where Jackie and V go to see Dex and T-Bug after the flathead job to discuss what they're going to do with Arasaka because they're planning to steal um, the immortality chip where, you know, Johnny Silverhand is going to be. Again, these are not spoilers, this is something we already did know from um, the prologue itself. So, let's get inside of this gameplay and see if we can actually spot some hidden stuff. Hey, this is Dum Dum. Nice. You see here, you have 11 messages, by the way. On the top right. Damn. Honestly, this looks, looks much better than, um, than it was actually in 2018. Um, just the detail on, on their armor and stuff is much better. The light is also much better because you have some background light which um, gives some nice depth to the scene. Yeah. Also, huge props to the Japanese localization, the voice actors they have. This is amazing. Yeah. Of course, quick time events. You're gonna have a lot of these during dialogue quick decisions you have to make. Also, animation-wise, I know people had complaints, but this looks very nice. Like, there's so many hidden details that I've seen in this gameplay, like hidden movements, that are so subtle, and um, they definitely elevate the character. Hmm, yeah. Well, you're gonna be able to use these things throughout the game. Uh, of course, there is Flathead. MTOD12. Ah, MT0D12. Ah. It's kind of sad that we cannot use Flathead through the entire game. But this thing is a bit difficult to program. Ooh, invisibility. Who is love this? Always. Oh, there is Royce. Look at this. Look at this movement. Ah. So nice. You hear the change in music? Ooh. Always love this. By the way, the gun, you see? This gun is a unique one, and you can only get it from Royce, if you actually want it in your collection. You'll have more weapons which are unique, and they're usually tied to characters, so always watch out. Yeah. I love the small movement on his cyberware, like, it, it, it moves as he speaks, this is very nice. Yeah. A lot of these quick decisions, like, damn. And it's gonna be crazy because if you fail a mission, like, the game just continues, it doesn't end, and you live with the consequences. That's insane. Yeah. And by the way, on the top it says work in progress does not represent the final look of the game. Some people asked about that. Honestly, this could be an older build of the game. It could be that, definitely. Ooh. Love this. I like how a situation during dialogue can change. It's very dynamic, I like that. Because it's not like you finish a dialogue and then he pulls out a gun or something. It's mid-dialogue, so it kind of makes things more streamlined, I guess. Yeah, there's the, the chip. Obviously, this is just one of the ways you can finish this mission. Um... There's gonna be other ways, which I'm not going to obviously talk about, not to spoil anything, but uh, 
Nice. Yeah, now he's gonna put a chip and boom, Militech has a has a virus in it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Now we move to probably the favorite part for everyone. With Judy and Evelyn. And this is actually a scene where you meet Judy for the first time. You can actually see it. Ah, there was in that dialogue, you saw that, that was an en engineer, I believe, uh, tech skill. So if you have that, you can talk to her and get some extra dialogue options. That's what the game is going to push. If you're good at something, if you talk to someone, you will have those little dialogue options. Besides the life pad ones, obviously. Like the life pad dialogue choices will be included, of course. Oh. Really like the small movements. I saw a little bit of stuttering in animation and I saw some minor things, you know. Maybe an animation is missed somewhere, someone does something, but that can be easily fixed. Don't worry much about that. Like, for as long as it's not Mass Effect Andromeda, like. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is nice. I love the movement, definitely. Um, you also keep have to keep in mind that this is a stream and plus this is a recording, so some things might look blurry or whatever. Um, YouTube just compresses the quality insanely, like, hey. Nice. Right? So, yeah, this is gonna be the first section where we actually go into the tutorial for uh, Braindance. And you will be able to get a lot of lore pieces from brain dances about different people, more entertainment brain dance stuff, obviously. Yeah. I like how much you can actually edit um, inside of that thing, like move around, analyze different things. We're gonna see it in a second. Yeah, this is gonna be a transition. I like how Evelyn just goes in circles. This is nice. I love this. I love this. I don't like when characters just stand still. Like, this is good. Yeah. There's also a little bit of blur um, when your uh, when character's eyes transition from, like, let's say, this brain dance the device and then on to Evelyn. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, this is Lizzie's. And there goes Evelyn again. Hmm. This is nice. I am really happy with facial animation so far. Yeah, it can, it can have a little bit of problems. I definitely saw them, but you have to really nitpick on some things. Yeah, there we go. This is where you go in. Now, obviously, Brain Dance is a recording, um, so you're looking at this as a recording. It's not the moving. It's like video. Yeah. Yeah, we already saw this one. Um, he's gonna go inside. Now, the thing is, they're actually recording a Brain Dance here. And a brain dance is more expensive if it's a um, a flatliner. So that means a person dies in the end. And they're a lot more expensive on the streets. Because you actually get that feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. really having everything with animations here, don't they? Love that. Also Japanese, man. Can't wait to actually go through the game in Japanese. You will be able to have Japanese, um, yeah, this is Flatliner. Yeah. You will have Japanese voice and you can have English subtitles and everything else. No worries about that. Yeah. I believe we actually didn't have Evelyn before. Um, when we talked to, to Judy before. I don't think we saw Evelyn here before. I think this is the first time that we see her in, in this particular area. Yeah. Everyone's favorite romance option, Judy Alvarez. Alright. Now, this is after the Maelstrom 
that maelstrom scene because we have flathead and as you can see you actually do some movements um here with him probably point him to certain objectives again he will be used in prologue uh but he's not gonna be a companion as i said yeah and i know people like that know japanese they said like dex is lying through his teeth in this one so obviously like don't trust anyone in night city because um as dev said like they can actually betray you like they can be they can tell you stuff that you want to hear but they could be doing something else like in real life so that's cool yeah i also love the vibe like seriously honestly that's why i don't mind first person that, that's why i don't mind this game being like this because you're always like in action it's always kind of intimate in a sense because it's first person but yeah Mm. Obviously, some some dialogue options. The the, la the last one there. Obviously, need some skill for it. Mm. Yeah. T bug is just she's just vibing. She's just vibing over there. Ah yeah. Uh, the chip. Now, obviously, this is not the immortality chip. This is just the chip with data. You'll be plugging in these a lot. Yeah. Konpeki Plaza, yeah. That's it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where they get us through everything. Um, we're gonna be using, obviously, this one. Oh, there is Yorinobu. The son of Saburo Arasaka. And this, my friends, the relic. Honestly, immortality chip, soul killer. Makes no difference. Nice. Yeah. Also, the uh, the watch and everything on on uh, on Jackie is moving. That's nice. I thought that um, accessories are actually like just a part of the arm, so they're not moving, but they are. They're actually moving. Oh, and by the way, do you see the small movement that Jackie does? Like he's very nervous with his leg. I like that. I like that a lot. I wish I knew what they were talking about, damn. There is of course a transcript, but I don't want to spoil stuff. Security gator, that I know. Damn. Not gonna lie, T-Bug so far, my favorite romance option. Yeah, look at Dex, man. I wonder, like, what happens with Dex after we, uh, if we decide to... We decide to kill him. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there's definitely some stuttering with animation, um... But no worries, that can be... That can be fixed. Like, obviously. It's, these are not huge bugs. Game-breaking bugs. Or glitches. Damn. Alright. Damn. That was cool. Exactly, like T-Bug. Definitely, all the way. She's the coolest. And that's it. That's pretty much it for uh, <laughs> for this reaction. So um, it was more than nine minutes, um, obviously. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, tell me what you what do you think about these videos? Now, obviously, I don't like doing reactions too much, but um, when there is something interesting like this, I will of course do it. Uh, what I've seen, um, it looks interesting, and I'm definitely you know hyped for the game. Uh, of course, some people had some issues with certain facial animations, with some of that stuff. Obviously. Uh, when a game releases, it is going to have bugs. But they took this time to actually polish the game as much as they can. So majority of the game is going to be good. Don't worry about that. For as long as the game doesn't have game-breaking bugs, where actually a bug is going to ruin your entire experience, uh, a clipping now and then is not going to be a huge issue. There was also clipping in The Witcher. Um, in certain inst instances and that wasn't a problem. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, 
Tell me what you think about all of this, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and also join our growing community on Twitter and Discord. I also do have a Patreon page, if you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can do it through there, and huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out, and stay classy everyone, bye bye.